Hello everyone. So as I promised you, I am recording a video about baby AGI. Um, I've shared my experience uh, in the podcast, but I thought it's worth for you to see uh, in front of your eyes. So remember I had a video about AutoGPT very recently and uh, I found out later about also baby AGI. So the baby AGI is the idea of a gentleman called Yohei Nakajima. Uh, I follow him on Twitter because he was one of the guys that uh, was building in public and he used no-code tools to just um, build a directory for VCs, you know, just in no time. So since then, I, I follow Yohei and, uh, um, you know, like I am very interested in his journey also as well. And I came up that he was the guy behind the baby AGI. So what is baby AGI? And you can just read the description. It's part of the movement of creating AI powered task management systems. So basically you give the AI, chat GPT basically is in the background, an objective and list of tasks and it goes by itself, try to achieve these tasks for you to reach to the objective or the goal you give it. Um, the difference between auto GPT and um, baby AGI, it's all about, you know, the logic that it uh, uses here. In auto GPT, if you remember, you just give a goal and then it decides by itself on the tasks based on some Google search and it has the reasoning. Here it's a little bit different, but the same concept at the end. So you can see just on a high level from the tweet um, here that the user provide the objective and the first task. So you need to give your first task first, and then this goes, you know, to an execution agent, which is using GPT-4 or 3.5 Turbo, and then it stores the task results in the memory, and then it goes and feedback, you know, to the agent and so on. In a nutshell, what is happening is to achieve the goal, it's trying to set a list of subtasks and it tries to finish the task. Now, let me be clear, finishing the task doesn't necessarily mean going and doing an actual physical task. So it's kind of logical task that uh, it sets. For example, if you say, I want to have, let's say, a course content outline so and the first task is to search similar courses so the first thing it's going to do it's going to go and search for similar courses so this is the first task done but it will create a subset of tasks for example check uh, similar topics uh, go find blah 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 you know like it will do this for you but it will not actually you know go and create the course for you didn't reach that uh, yet, I would say. It's an experiment, same as the auto GPT. So, and you can read about, you know, the logic behind. So installation is very simple. It's a Python script. You need to follow the documentation. You just, you know, do the installation of free requisites. And uh, of course you clone the repository to your local machine. As usual with such experiments, it's highly advisable that you use either a virtual machine or a Docker container just to be in the safe side. And you can have this on any operating system. If you are using like a Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. Or Linux, it doesn't matter. Of course, they have ability to also talk to Llama. And Llama, as you know, is the language model from Facebook. Honestly, I didn't. Uh, tried it yet so I would not comment on, on the Llama uh, but I'm familiar with of course Open API uh, uh, Open AI APIs of course so here where you can see also they have shared some uh, other projects that were inspired by uh, you know baby AGI I tried a couple of them and basically you know like you can see they more or less try to do the same thing um, but some of them, they are dedicated to some platforms like Slack and so on. And some of them, you can just have like this one here. So here where you can uh, just give what you want to do. And then 
it will try to give the subtask. For example, they have even uh, let's let's try for example something very simple. Uh, design a course about AI, right? So and then you launch. Of course, it will ask you. By the way, I have logged in, so it will ask you for your Open API keys as well. So bear in mind that this is requires an Open AI API access. So here are the suggested tasks. So you can select one or more, and then if you say this, this, and then launch. So it will go and try to do this. So similar to what you have seen with AutoGPT, but it's like more with, I would say, feedback driven. Now, the thing here, and there is a warning, actually, if you remember in AutoGPT, uh, there were two modes. So there were the user driven mode where you can, by default, actually, it's enabled. It will ask your authorization to perform the next tasks and they have a continuous mode and they advise you that continuous mode means like you can leave the script run by itself it will go to all the tasks that it generates and the backdrop i would say is it might consume a lot of your api access in uh, auto gpt uh, sorry in chat gpt here by default it's uh, continuous so um, this is how it goes. Now, let me go and open, you know, the, the environment. So after you clone, what you would get is something very similar to this. So I'm familiar with um, uh, Visual Studio Code. It makes, you know, the life easy. And here you, the first thing as per the documentation, you need to rename this file and, you know, call it .env. And here where you will put your, uh, you know, parameters. So for example, you need to put the, uh, model that you are uh, you know going to use from uh, open ai gpt so for here the default one is gpt 3.5 highly advisable because it's cheaper gpt4 is more expensive you need to put the open api key the temperature so the temperature is a number between zero and one so basically and uh, one is getting it more creative i try to use something anything between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 based on my on experiments so far you don't need to change much so here is um, you know for the database for the vector database which is the technology used to have the sequence and deep reasoning i would say so you can rely on the local database a cache of course but you can use something like pinecone because they are um, you know compatible with that so i opted to use pinecone because they provide a a free uh, tier where you can have one instance uh, there so i'm using that also here you can see you can put the objective so here is another difference between a chat uh, sorry auto gpt and uh, baby agi there you enter your tasks or objectives inside the script itself here it's predefined. So every time you need to run it, you need to come and change this. So here you put your objective, you put your initial task. I'm sure that you can also give this as parameters, but this is, I found it more easy. So here, for example, I said design a course about AI that can be done in 100 days. And your first task is uh, I need the best easy curriculum for non technical people to learn about AI. So I've been running this, though I was preparing for this video. So, and you can see here, so this is where I started it. Yeah. So here it started to build the list of tasks. So saying here, the list of possible curriculum, right? And then it's saying that the curriculum cover brought a French. So it's keep working and working and working again. So I have hit the limit actually with open AI. So I think this is where it stopped here. But you can see actually one of the things that I tried, I said in the tasks, whatever you, whatever you find, save it to a local file. And actually I was trying to find topics for my podcast, right? So, uh, and it saved that to a local file over here. So you can see that here also as well. So nevertheless, um, you know, like this is a very promising technology. I discussed this on my episode number 104 today you can listen to that and um, you know on several episodes as well i had guests talking about how 
in the future, we might have a bot of AI agents like the ChatGPT, which will allow us to make multiple things simple. So think if you are a one-person business and you have a AI bot to do your VA task. You have another one to do, like, I mean, replying emails, setting your calendar, and so on. You have another one to do research. You have another one to do maybe your uh, account and booking. You have another one to do your, uh, I don't know, travel, right? So think about having multiple bots that are helping you. So this is where the future of this technology is going, I believe. It's very promising. Of course, you are still in the very, very early stages. So bear in mind, this is not a cooked product ready to be used. So these are experiments. But now this is the second time I try, um, you know, this family of products uh, inspired by, of course, OpenAI GPT. And it looks very, very promising. So I hope that you like this video. I'm try to be very uh, short and to the point. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also keep coming to the podcast because sometimes we have subject matter experts talking about the AI topic and you know the future of work and a lot more exciting topics. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in another video. Bye-bye.